Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about living for Jesus. Author Jim Collins said one of the jobs of a leader is to get the right people on the bus and get them on the right seats. I totally agree with him. But what would you think if a leader willingly and knowingly brought on someone who would attempt to destroy the organization? You'd think it's time for that leader to go. But did you know Jesus did this very thing? It's true. Let's go back to the Bible to find out why in John chapter 13, beginning in verse 18. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but the scripture will be fulfilled. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I am telling you this now before it takes place, that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he. Truly, truly, I say to you, Whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Jesus has just washed the disciples' feet and challenged them to remember whatever he was willing to do, the disciples must also be ready to do. And now, Jesus turns in his talk to make aware and remind his disciples that there is one of them who will betray him. Jesus says, I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but the scripture will be fulfilled. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. Jesus knowingly and willingly chose Judas as one of the twelve. Judas didn't know what he would do when he first joined the band of disciples. But Jesus did. He brought Judas on the bus and put him in an intentional seat. <laughs> Which seat is that? The betrayal seat. Why? He did this because it would fulfill a prophecy from Zechariah chapter 11. It is there that 500 years before this moment, Zechariah predicted that Judas would betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Not only that, but he would throw it on the ground in the temple, just as Zechariah predicted. Again, as Jesus says in verse 19, these things were declared and executed so that the disciples might, and we might believe that Jesus is the Messiah. And then in verse 20, Jesus makes a seemingly odd and out of place statement. He says, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. These 11 were still apostles. They were the ones sent from Jesus. They are the only true apostles, but we all are sent ones for God. As Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we are ambassadors for Christ. So here's my challenge for you today. Live like an ambassador for Jesus. Thankfully, we have not been chosen to betray Jesus. Instead, we are called to be light in the darkness. We are the salt that adds flavor to the world around us. We are to show people Christ every day in everyday ways. So friend, do so. It's an honor and a privilege to be on the bus for Jesus. When we show Jesus to the world, we will win the day.